Hello everyone. It is currently December 27th. I have not vlogged formally in like what feels like almost a week. Christmas is over. We're in that weird in-between phase. Um, we have our family here still and we're about to go on a little outing. We're either gonna go to Dave & Buster's or Great Shots, which Great Shots is like a local version of Top Golf. Um, Jonathan wants to test his clubs out, but I think we might end up going to Dave Buster's. I don't know, we'll see. But we're gonna go out and about. We've been just kind of hanging out, honestly. It's been really nice and relaxing. I was very much hosted out after Christmas. Um, between surprise parties, hosting for Christmas, Christmas Eve, it was just a lot. So, um, we're gonna go kind of get out of the house, move around a little bit. Jameson's crying a little bit upstairs, but, um, and we'll see what we get up to. It's gonna be nice to get out of the house. I do, Jonathan goes back to work tomorrow, and I also start work again tomorrow. Um, I mean, I worked yesterday for a little while, but, um, back to the grind tomorrow. And so we're kind of taking advantage of our last last day of Jonathan's Christmas vacation. So.
Good morning, everyone. I definitely, <clears throat> excuse me, I definitely fell off the vlog train last night. Um, it is very early. It is 7.15. It feels much earlier because it is pitch black outside still. Um, but I just dropped Jonathan off at work and I actually just got to the serendipitous office downtown and I'm going to work here for a few hours and then I have a final planning meeting with a bride at nine and then we have her final floral meeting at 10. Um, and then I might come back and just work honestly here for the rest of the day. I don't know. We'll see where I'm at. I do have a call at 2 PM for some serendipitous stuff. So, um, since there are like people at my house and their their room is what is normally my office um i figured i would just be here and um hang out get some work done all day and then after that call i have to go pick up jonathan anyway so i'm planning on just working at the office all day but i might go home after my 10 o'clock i don't know we'll kind of see um see how i feel um, if I need to grab lunch or if I can like wait it out for a couple hours, I guess I probably am going to have to grab lunch out because I feel like it just makes the most sense to just come back to the office. So I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling. Um, I really wish I, oh, should I go back and grab a coffee? The line is going to be so long at Starbucks. I'm debating if I want to go grab a Starbucks. I really don't want to sit in line for like 20 minutes though. I mean, it won't be that long, but there is a Starbucks just like right down the street. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to. Um, nothing like sounds good from Starbucks. Like I didn't have time to make coffee at home, which normally I just am fine with just like a hot coffee from home, but I could just get my Pike place. I don't know. I'm going to wait it out. I don't need it. I just want to get some work done. So I'm going to go in get some work done before my meetings and I will check in shortly. Hello everyone, checking in. I just finished my bride meetings for the day. I had a final planning meeting and a final floral meeting for my bride who's getting married in just under three weeks, like two weeks. And um, that was so fun. She's such a fun bride. Um, so I am just going to do some more work. I'm at the office right now just because we have guests at the house and I need to edit um, my client's podcast. And um, it'll be much easier just in a quiet office. Um, I've got the place to myself. So I'm just gonna go ahead and edit her podcast and start doing some more graphics for her. And then um, we'll see where I'm at time-wise if I head home or um, if I just stay here and get some more work done. I really probably will stay here because I could edit a vlog and I need to get some other posts up for clients. So that is the plan. So I'm going to get back to work. Okay. Hello everyone. It is now four, it just had for four o'clock and I worked at the office until about 3.20 and went and picked up Jonathan and now we are home for a little bit. I'm actually going to shower. Um, something about me when I wear like tight clothes like fitted clothes like this I feel really like gross and like sweaty all the time so I'm gonna shower and um, then I'm gonna run to my dad's because we are breeding ginger for our next litter of puppies and I'm so excited so we are doing AI with her and with a uh, dog from one of our previous litters from our first litter actually his name is Brooks um so I'm gonna try to show a little bit of footage of them um so you can see them not so you can see the breeding but um so we'll have that I have to leave about in about like an hour um 45 minutes to an hour so I'm gonna shower quick and then just put on comfy clothes we'll go do that and then I believe we're home for the night um we don't have any plans we're gonna make dinner and just kind of hang out. I need to edit this vlog. Um, actually, I probably have enough footage for two vlogs, but I want to get like all caught up because right now I'm running like a week. What day is it? Thursday? Yeah, I'm running like a week behind. So like what you're, the vlog that I uploaded this morning 
is from last Thursday. Today is Thursday. So um, I would like to get a little more caught up, but I guess a week off is not horrible. Like as long as it is stays like exactly a week, but I have all the footage from like all of our Christmas holiday festivities this weekend, which is m mostly just like montage kind of stuff. Like I didn't do a ton of like actual talking, I guess. Um, but we'll see that might be, I haven't decided if it's going to be one or two vlogs yet because I feel like I have a decent amount of footage from before Christmas, but then my actual Christmas stuff is like really short, but I don't want it to get too far out from Christmas to where like people don't care, you know? So anyway, I'm going to shower and then I will check in with you guys when we are off to see the Dalkies. Hi, Kiki. Roxy. Yeah, yeah, you guys can have some cutie babies. You can have some cutie babies. You're so cute. Clearly don't like girls. You're so cozy. That's your girlfriend. That's your girlfriend. Gigi, you're so cozy. <laughs> you're so cozy. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. Golden are just the best. Just the best. Okay, we're also letting my chickies. We got Mr. Rooster and Speckles down here. <gasps> Speckles, no, why are you laying like that? What thing? Just, I just put it through the egg door. Why are you laying like that? I hope you're okay. Hi, buddy. You were out here yesterday. Did you take over? She, she's cold, maybe? Okay. Or did he lay down? Well, she was like on her side. Did they lay down? Good morning, everyone. Well, it's not really morning, but hello. Um, it is Saturday and it is almost 11.30. I have had a very weird slow start to my day. Um, I did not sleep well last night. It was, so, okay, so a little backstory. We, Jonathan, um, cleaned our vents like our air ducts uh, a couple like last week at some point and when after he did that we realized we had closed all of the vents down here from the summer because it would get so cold down here and now that it is winter it is cold down here again because the vents are closed so it doesn't get as much heat so we opened up the vents which made the rest of it just made the whole home like air circulation a lot better so he upped the temperature um just because with my nephew here babies need a little bit 
warmer temperature in the house. Um, so just in case we upped the temperature to 70, normally we have it at 68 and it would drop down to like 66 at night, I think. Um, well, 70 degrees is way too hot for me to sleep. So um, I don't know what it is about our room that it just got gets so hot at night. Um, our guest room is fine. Like Nathaniel and Jillian said, they've slept fine. Um, but I was so hot. Jonathan said he was super hot. He woke up like every hour last night and I was pretty close to that too. Um, so just didn't get a lot of great sleep, which is a bummer, but Jonathan's at work. Um, and Nathaniel and Jillian's, I think they slept at her, at Jillian's mom's house last night. Um, they had a little get together at, um, the music studio that my brother-in-law owns and so they had a little get together we stopped by there last night and then they left jameson at jillian's mom's house to spend the night and so i'm assuming they just went over there um after the party and they had some stuff to do today and then tonight we are actually getting together with um one of our couple friends who just had a baby they had a little preemie actually um, little Zane he was born two months early which is what I was I was actually two months early so he is just a little peanut but he is doing really well he's home um, Liz is doing great um, so anyway they're having us over for burgers tonight and we are gonna play that um, horse races game that I shared in my Christmas vlog uh, that game is so fun you guys if you want like a good like holiday get together game. It is like gambling. So you play with quarter, we play with quarters. You can play with nickels. Um, I've seen people play with, sorry, Luna knocked over the vlog camera. Um, anyway, that horse races game is so fun. If you want like a family staple game for like holidays or like big get togethers, um, because it's really lighthearted. We play with quarters. You can play with nickels. I've seen people play with dollar bills. Um, as like the gambling, you can play with poker chips. Like there's so many ways like that you could adjust it to make it like higher stakes. Or if you don't want to do money, you could do poker chips, but honestly, it's really fun with quarters. Um, and the nice thing about this game, oh, this feels so good. You guys, I did not think I would like love an ice roller. I thought it'd be like too harsh, like too cold, but I love it. Oh my gosh, why isn't this eye patch sticking? Um, so anyway, sorry, let me fix this. Please hold. Okay, we're back. Um, so really fun game, highly recommend. So I think Jonathan was like talking to him about it and he's and Abdullah, our friend was like, bring it over, bring it over. So um, that's kind of, that's gonna be so fun tonight. So we'll get the babies together and um, a little couples get together, which is gonna be so fun. So really excited for that. Um, the rest of the day is kind of open. I don't have any, anything going on. Um, my plan is to kind of, start prepping to take down Christmas decor because I think I'm going to take it down tomorrow, which would not have thought that that would be the case. But just with so many dogs in the house, so many people in and out, I am ready for my house to just feel like back to normal and like clean, like a clean slate. Um, it's going to feel a little empty because if you haven't noticed, we don't have a ton of decor in our house. What Sadie? Um, but I'm just ready to deep clean the house. Jonathan only works a half day tomorrow and um, he's off, I think at noon. Um, so, and then he has the next three days off. So I just want to get all of that done. Um, I'll probably start in the morning and then have him jump in a little bit. Um, we're not really, we don't really plan on doing anything for New Year's because my brother-in-law is planning on starting his drive back on New Year's Day, like really early. So we are kind of like the go-to house for a lot of our friends for like house parties. And everyone's been asking us like, oh, what are you guys doing for New Year's? What are you doing for New Year's? But Jonathan and I, we both kind of agreed, like we don't really want to have a party. Like we don't, especially if it's like Nathaniel's last day here, we just want to be able to like spend time with them because honestly, we don't know the next time that we'll see them, which is like a huge bummer. You guys, I hate this. 
it's so funny because Nathaniel and Jillian, when they got here, we were talking about like the vlog and stuff. And they're like, we could swear you were pregnant because you were getting so emotional in all your vlogs. And I was like, no, I literally, everything makes me cry now. So, so anyway, we don't know when we're going to see them next. Um, so we kind of just want to have some like one-on-one -on -one time with them and um, Jillian is staying for like another week. I think I'm not sure if she's staying with us or if she's going to her mom's, um, so that they can have some time with Jameson. Um, but she will be in town for another week. Um, but I'm sure she's going to go see like her friends and her family and stuff a lot. So, um, either way, we're fine if she's here or if she's there. Um, I think Nathaniel's taking the dogs back, but what Sadie, what you want to go outside? Oh, you want, you want to get ice rolled? You want to get? I don't lick it. Don't lick it. That goes on my face. No, no. Okay, you gotta let me do it then. You gotta let me do it. Okay, you gotta let me do it. Nah, don't lick my face. <laughs> she like snarls up her lip. Okay, will you calm down? Settle down. Okay, sit, and I'll ice roll you. No, Chippy. Wait, sit down. Oh, these two. They're actually siblings, believe it or not. These eye patches. This one is just not wanted to stay on today. Um, so Chip and I, I don't know if I explained this. Chippy, come here. Okay, so Chip is our Merle Golden Doodle from our last litter of doodles. So he is Macy's son. That's Macy. That's Mama. And this is Ollie. Ollie is a Labradoodle. They are not related. They're not even the same breed. And so Chip and Indy are half half siblings and Chip and Sadie are also half siblings and Indy and Sadie are sisters. So Indy and Sadie are sisters and that's it. Yeah, they just have um their so Indy and Sadie have the same dads, but they're from different litters. They are two years apart. And then Chip has a different dad. He's a, his dad is a poodle. Um, and then Honey, my dad's dog, my dad's doodle that is over here. She's a little blondie. She is Chip's sister, if that makes sense. So we have lots of connections. Chip is actually technically a stud. Um, we have not had... I haven't advertised it really at all, but he is up available as a stud. Um, and so he will hopefully have some litters. Um, we just, I mean, I don't care who uses him as a stud, but ideally it would be a purebred poodle um, to create F1B doodles, if that makes sense. So um, you would want to breed him with a standard poodle. You could also breed him with another doodle. Um, you just run the risk of not having as much of that hypoallergenic trait, but he um, sheds very, very minimally. The, and the way he sheds is typical of hypoallergenic dogs. So he just um, sheds in like clumps kind of versus like hair everywhere like my goldens do. So, um, and we never, ever, ever tell people that our doodles are hypoallergenic. They are not. We can never guarantee that they will not shed unless they are purebred poodles. So like, even that is like, they still are gonna lose hair. So like, are we, we never say that. Um, people are like, oh, I don't want the shedding. And I'm always like, well, <laughs> you actually can't guarantee that. But I mean, I always present it as like, <laughs> ma'am, that was rude. Yay! You wanna go outside? So I always present it as like, here's the thing. You're gonna get this dog, especially when you get a dog as a puppy, you're gonna fall in love with it. And guess what? What's, what are you going to do if it starts shedding? Are you going to get rid of it? No, you're still going to love this dog. It's not going to be the end of the world. So anyway, shedding. Dogs got to love it. So that's the relation between all of these yahoos in my house right now. Wow, it just got really dark because we got cloud cover. So anyway, um, okay, on the agenda today, I'm going to start prepping to get all of our Christmas decor away. So I need to start like washing towels, washing all my Christmas sweatshirts, um, getting all that together. I want to get all of our like gift bags together because we reuse gift bags um, because I hate having to go out and buy gift wrap all the time when it's like 
when you need it, it's nice to just have it on hand. So we reuse all our gift bags. We don't reuse wrapping paper, obviously, but um, so just getting all that stuff kind of ready. Um, and then tomorrow I think will be the big day, the big overhaul of just getting everything packed away um, and cleaning the house up, which is going to feel good. So I'm going to get started on some laundry and just kind of hang out. Jonathan said that I have two more packages coming for Christmas gifts. He just told me that this morning. He's like, oh, which he, is weird because he never mentioned this. He never mentioned this um, during Christmas that I had more. Oh, 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 I might know what it is. Okay, I forget. He exchanged like a lounge set that he had gotten for me. And I think it might be just, I think he got me some of my like favorite leggings from Amazon. Um, I do remember that now. So, but he's like, oh, because he's at work. He's like, oh, there's a package coming today for you. They're going to put it in the garage um, and same thing tomorrow. And I was like, what? So I just figured that out. So anyway, I'm all over the place. I feel like I haven't vlogged in a couple days. I just uploaded my Christmas vlog and I was on a roll. I had like, th I think three vlogs go up this week, which is pretty good, pretty fun. I'm having so much fun vlogging you guys. Now, if I just knew how to um, gain more of an audience, <laughs> that'd be great. But um, I've heard even big influencers say like YouTube is just so hard to get like discovered on. Um, so I'm just kind of, you know, I share it on my Instagram and I have a lot of, it's a lot of my just friends and family that watch, but um, yeah, I'm, I'll have to work on this year on figuring out how to grow on YouTube a little bit. But the nice thing is, is we hopefully have some litters of puppies coming. And that's always a fun thing for people to watch. So that's actually how I gained most of my followers. I think right now I have like 750 followers around there. Um, and a majority of those subscribers, sorry, I just called them followers, subscribers, um, a majority of them actually came, I think, because of the puppy vlogs that I would post um, like years ago from our first litter and um, a little bit from our doodle litter, I think. But then I kind of fell off and got super busy and my career changed and yada yada. And um, I got super busy with work. Well, now I have a little bit more time to commit to it. So we'll see how things change in the new year. But we have some exciting things coming up next year. So it'll be fun. All right, I need to, honestly, I probably need to make lunch. It is, yeah, it's almost noon. And I just had like half of a blueberry muffin that, from Costco that <laughs> was sitting on the counter. Not sitting on the counter, but that we had left. Um, so I think I'm gonna make some lunch because I need some protein. And I got up late today. So, <clears throat> so make some lunch and then get started. Just kind of cleaning up a little bit. I might, I don't know. Since I have nothing else going on and the house is empty except for those six dogs, um, I might just start putting some, packing some stuff away, but we'll see. Anyway, wow, I've been jabbering for 15 minutes. So let's get the day started. Okay, fun fact, while I was going through a drawer, <laughs> I found these glasses um, and I forgot I had them. The, I had the same, these same pair of glasses in a prescription. These are just blue light non-prescription but Sadie chewed up my prescription ones so I haven't worn my been able to wear my glasses in forever um and I need to order more because I have a new prescription but anyway found those but they have a disgusting glare so we will not be wearing those um okay it is one o'clock 102 and I've just been kind of like running around the house all over um, I started some laundry. I divvied out all of my Christmas sweatshirts, crewnecks, sweaters, towels. Um, and I'm going to be washing those in the midst of laundry. I also have collected over here all um, loose ornaments, candles, mugs that are Christmassy, all that kind of stuff. Um, all of our gift wrapping, holiday gift wrapping is down there. We'll pack that away. Um, I have a few more loose things to pack up. I'll probably take the stockings down. Um, just trying to get all of the like random stuff into one place so that tomorrow or I don't know, maybe later today, I'm tired of being alone. <laughs> and Jillian and Nathaniel are still gone. I'm sure they probably like just are getting going for the day. Um, 
and Jonathan's at work for another two and a half hours. <sighs> and I'm just like trying to keep myself busy. Um, so laundry is going. The clearing of the Christmas has started. Took my supplements. I'm trying to get back into a routine. I just posted on Instagram and my stories. I'm like, I, despite my best efforts of like wanting to keep a sense of normalcy in the holidays, I have epically failed <laughs> between social obligations, parties, um, my diet has been all over the place. I am just, I haven't been taking my supplements consistently. Um, I'm not like, I don't feel like I'm getting sick. Um, but I do feel like my sleep quality has not been great. I have had a little bit more to drink, not a ton, but still been drinking more than I normally do. I rarely drink anymore. Um, and of course having like parties and stuff it, you know, we've, I've been having some drinks and stuff. Jonathan went and I went out for dinner last night and I had a beer and then went and had a shot at the party again. You know, so it's just like, I'm not beating myself up over it. I, but I am very, very ready to get back into a, my normal healthy routine. Um, I haven't worked out since middle of last week, I think. So it's been now over a week, almost a week and a half since I've worked out. Um, and I just am ready for a sense of normalcy. Um, I need to vacuum down here and mop the floors. They are disgusting. My yard is a mud pit from all the rain that we got. And I am need to do that. But after that, I might sit down and I feel like all I've been doing for the last like three or four days is editing vlogs, but I have a lot of footage. I'm finally almost caught up. This next vlog will be me being caught up. Um, but my, <clears throat> my vlogging throughout this week has been very, very sporadic just because of uh, having the baby and guests in the house. And again, bopping back and forth between like different parties and get togethers. Um, it's been just a little bit all over the place. So I am just really craving a sense of normalcy and I'm ready to get back into my routine. I am immediately turning this temperature down because it is so warm in here. Oh, that is not the correct time. Oh wait, I need that. Okay, so I'm gonna change this thermostat and then we'll get to more cleaning and getting stuff done. Okay, it is so stinking dark, you guys. It's like 4 o'clock, 4.15, 4.18, sorry. Um, and I'm about to head to the store because for some reason it never crossed my mind to bring something over to my friend's house tonight. I'm like, why did this not cross my mind? Um, so I'm going to run to the store and grab stuff to make smoked Chex Mix. <laughs> and grab a couple things that I need to make my grandma's pickles. So, um, I just threw on, actually Jonathan just got these leggings in for me, which this is the package that he said it was getting. So, um, this is one pair and then he got me one more thing, which is coming later, which I asked him if it was a black pair. Cause that's what we had initially talked about is him getting me this blue pair and then a black pair. Cause I just always love a good black pair of leggings, but he did not confirm, so we'll see what that is. But I am running off to get the stuff for Chex Mix and the pickles, and then I'm gonna rush back, get the smoker going, and smoke this Chex Mix because we have to be there at six, and I'm in a rush. So, off to the store. Okay, on the way, and I have tasked Jonathan with getting the smoker going while I'm gone. We're taking bets if he actually does it. Oh my god. He, I asked him, um, to be fair, he has worked all day, but um, I asked him, I was like, okay, do you want to go to the store? He's like, yeah, sure. And then he goes to the bathroom for freaking 15 minutes. And then he comes out. I'm like, okay, let's go. And he's like, I'm just going to sit down for a minute. Which we all know what that means. That means he's taking a nap. So, I gave him one thing to do. I said, fine, I'll go to the store so you can sit down, quote unquote. Now let's see if he actually gets the smoker going because we are in a crunch. We need to be there in an hour and a half and this Chex Mix needs to smoke for an hour. Granted, our friends live really close to us, so that helps. It'll take like two minutes to get there, but 
let's hope that I can get all this stuff in like 15 minutes. It all should be pretty much in like two areas and then we'll run back home again. We also live pretty close to the grocery store or a grocery store. So fingers crossed they have everything. We can get this made because y'all, if you are going to someone's house, if you've been invited over to someone's house for a dinner, for a party, for a get together, whatever, do not ever show up empty handed. Please, for the love of God, bring something, bring a bottle of margarita mix, bring a snack, bring a side, bring a dessert, bring flowers or a bottle of wine, like something to contribute um, because it's just common courtesy, okay? That is like house guest rule number one, never show up empty handed. So life hack of the day, <laughs> don't ever show up empty handed. And I never wanna be that person that shows up without contributing something. Clearly my brain is not working today because it did not even cross my mind. Um, so we're scrambling, but we're gonna bring something good that without fail I will not show up with something that is not good so here we go <laughs> Chex Mix, um, as I said in the car, um, rice and corn Chex. The, this recipe, which it's called Texas Trash, is it calls for wheat Chex in addition to these two, but this store didn't have it and I figured this is gonna be plenty. Um, so we got that. <clears throat> also got a pack of goldfish because my coworker, my former coworker that made this, um, she put goldfish in hers. And then I also got some Cheez-Its just to add a little variety. And then I got these waffle pretzels and some nacho cheese bugles because I figured that would be like a good addition. So that's what we got. Um, some recipes call for peanuts, but I'm not a huge fan of putting nuts in. So, and I don't know if there's allergies or anything, so I'm just not going to. Um, and then it's just seasonings and melted butter basically. So got that and then for the pickles I got a gallon of distilled water because fun fact if you live in a city with like city water water treatment all the chemicals and stuff in it keeps um Luna Grace do not um it keeps the pickles from fermenting properly and since these are fermented and not just your typical like canned pickle um we need the fermentation process otherwise they're just gonna go bad so got some distilled water i think another way you can do it is also just like putting water in like a pitcher and just not covering it and letting it like let all of the chemicals like off gas for lack of a better word but i don't know for sure so i'm just gonna play it safe using distilled water i got some pickling spice and some alum which alum basically keeps the pickles like crisp instead of getting them like soft and mushy um or so my uncle told me. And then Morton canning and pickling salt. So this is a large thing, but we'll see if I ever go through this. But so that was a little grocery haul. I'm gonna get started. Oh, last thing. Got this little aluminum tin with a lid for the Chex Mix just to throw it on the smoker and then throw the lid on and get out the door. So 
great of that. Okay, I am going to get started on this Chex Mix because we need to be there in an hour and 10 minutes. And this takes an hour to smoke and probably 10 minutes to make. So here we go. <laughs> there we go. Here we go. Is it going to hang with Auntie? I'm going to go make a friend tonight. Yeah. Yeah. You like my little Auntie? <laughs> I like your outfit. You got a little romper? Oh. back to my friend's house. I only took the one clip of their baby because we were just hanging out. But it was fun. We had dinner and played horse races, which is the game I played at Christmas. So that was fun. And I am going to wrap up the vlog here. So I'm really bad at getting outros because I'm always just go, go, go. But thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye guys.